What's the story? Uh, folks, today we have, um, we have this, uh, Nino Galito, something. This is Francis von Coppola's Rutherford Zinfandel, looks like that. There you are. Alright, Zinfandel. This is sort of like his higher end version of uh, Zin. All the fruit is produced in Napa. So Peter and I, you know, but we have... I'm Brian Edwards. I publish a magazine called Review. Mm -hmm. It's an entertainment guide, and what could be more entertaining than drinking wine with Ellie and Peter? It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's an a, experience, isn't it? It's a fabulous magazine if you haven't seen it. So, um, right here in so, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So shall we figure out what this wine is all about? So there is a lot of spice going on. Now, to me, I also get a little bit of something else. So, it's so to me, I'm getting um, raisins and baby powder. Raisins and baby No, powder. I'm quite serious. I don't know anything about the baby powder, but I'll tell you, I didn't get the raisin on the nose, but when I, first, when I tasted this, now I got all kinds of raisin and almost a touch of prune going on as well. Uh -huh. Just like the dark prune sort of character. But there is sort of a talkish note that it's, it's a bit soft or uh, something. You know, I think of talk every time <laughs> I use baby powder, which is daily. And, and, and My children are in college now. I'm, I'm getting a little chocolate, I think. Right. <laughs> Not the baby powder. Not the baby powder, no. Yeah, I am getting some more of that fruit, and you certainly can tell it's a zen uh, with that spice on the palate. It's yeah. really coming through. You know, for the, for the alcohol level and, and for the... What is the, the alcohol level? 15.1. Uh, oh. And, you know, it's it's really, a lot of times zen will come across as being big, but also almost overbearing in spice, mm -hmm. almost over top. You know, it's not at all. It's not. It's balanced. It's It's got yeah. all the big, rich, you know, yumminess of zen, but at the same time being... It just kind of flows through. It has a has a almost a uh, just a, a very smooth aspect about the. the it's much it. smoother than a lot of other examples I've had. You know, yeah. of Zinfandel, especially from California. Absolutely delicious. So. This would be really. I, I had steak for dinner. This would be a good zin to have with a steak. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A little pepper Definitely. on there. A little yeah, bit of so garlic. Right on. And it's Definitely. got enough it's acid right to yeah. uh, absolutely. Right. No, this would be a great. Food. And the finish, it's lovely too, that it just, again, it's not leaving your mouth, you know, assaulted, <laughs> as some Zinfandels can do, so. Not that that wouldn't be a turn -off. Would it, Peter? Would it? I don't know. Um, some some Zins, as, as my girlfriend Kathy likes to say, they're really, they really bite you on the backside. They do. And they this do. does not at all. This is very smooth on the backside. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and maybe that goes with the towel thing, right? Right. Yes. If you've got a baby, smooth, smooth on the bottom. Backside. There yes. you go. <laughs> what, so, makes it, what makes it smooth on the baby's so backside? You know? A little towel. <laughs> I think you're right. I knew you guys would see my way. It would take yeah, some time. It takes a while to come around. Yes, but there you are. It's kind of like a just a superior zen where someone dumped in a quarter cup of, of this rich, soft Merlot. Just dumped it right in the bottle. That, that's sort of, you know, it's like taking yeah. this big, powerful, overdone zen and then somebody just sort of calms it down, put a little water on the fire, you know. Just kind of tames it with like some Merlot. Just teaming it down with a little, yes. little, this big plummy Merlot, you know, so it's, it's delicious. It's very good. I think so. Hints of more on the finish. Indeed. We good? I think we are. All right. Cheers, Cheers to that. Cheers. Thanks for joining. It's a little spot. Ciao.